Hi everyone! So we're in the Kootenai Boundary area of BC and we're standing right next to the beautiful Kettle River. It's gorgeous. So in this video we're just going to chat a little bit about the challenges that we had when our RV storage lot site got uh, terminated the contract and Gordon's going to chat about that. Mickey and I and Finch are out camping. We're out actually at uh, an area called Kittle Valley and Kittle Valley Park. We've been here once before and it's a, it's a beautiful area. But we'll, we'll do a video on our camping trip here in the coming weeks. But we wanted to give you a quick update because we haven't posted in a while. And really it's just been more about, you know, life gets in the way. Other things uh, are happening. One of the positive things, Mickey actually went off with a friend of hers to the Okanagan and they did some wine tasting and, and then, uh, you know, the thing that was most significant for us actually was we've lost our storage lot. And for those of you that follow our channel, you know that we aren't able to store our RV where we live. So we've had a great storage lot for the last four and a half years. It's been uh, it's probably about a 20 minute drive from where we live, but it's on the route that we typically will head out on so that works out well. Great big spaces, all RVs, trailers, camper vans, things like that, and it's worked out really well. But the company that owns it uh, sent us a note saying that they're no longer going to be operating it as a storage lot. My guess, they're going to develop it because all of the area around there is being developed into uh, warehouse type buildings, um, low level industry, things like that. So that's a bit of a scramble because there's not a lot of RV space available in the lower mainland near Vancouver where we live. This happened actually while Mickey was away and I had to go out to a number of different places, to storage places. And, you know, it's, there's such a demand that there's waiting lists pretty well everywhere. So it gets to be a little bit uh, disconcerting, like where are we going to park our van? Certainly, the farther you get away from the lower mainland, the more the opportunities. Anyway, we went out and I ended up finding one place at a storage lot. It was okay, but it was kind of cramped and I was going to have to parallel park in the van, which, you know, we can do. We are lucky that our van's just a little under 21 feet, so it fits in a lot of places where if we had a bigger RV, we would just be out of luck. Anyway, I ended up taking it. Uh, they gave me a really good deal and a couple weeks for free. And then, as things would happen, literally the next day, I had a, uh, a call from another storage lot, and they had something coming open. So I went over, looked at that. It was better. You could back into the spot. It was going to be really tight, but it had better facilities, looked safer. So I ended up having to cancel the first one. And you know, that cost me a small amount of money. Not much. I think it was $50 in total fees. I signed up for the second. And then a couple days later, we got a call from a third. So we went and checked it out, and it's a little bit farther away. The second one was actually closer to where we live, which was nice. The third one's a little farther away. It's a very similar in a sense to the previous place we were in. Much bigger spaces, uh, open, and so we've ended up signing to actually go there. Now the good news is they gave us a free period of time until we needed to move into there, so it's not really costing us much money to make all these changes. One of the challenges of having an RV when you're not able to park it in the area that you live in, and that's finding storage. And there's been such a demand, there was demand when we bought the RV four and a half years ago, and if anything it's just increased because of the, you know, the recent uh, increase in RV sales over the last few years. So hopefully that issue is resolved. I'm sure we'll have some other challenges along the way as well. And in the interim, we just wanted to give everyone a quick update. Yes, we're still out. We're still out camping. Where we are last night was, it got quite warm here yesterday. We actually had our air conditioning on for about an hour just to keep Finch a little colder. Anyway, I'm going to get out, do a paddle on the river that's behind me. It's actually about 7 in the morning right now and there's some other people getting out. So I'd like to get on the river before it gets too busy. So I hope you found this update useful, and we'll see you next time.